okay then some other class came nokia double three one zero this person came and he told so i want to inherit you i'm ready to implement all the methods later he realized like why should i implement all these things okay so later he realized and uh, he done like <laughs> Hmm. okay so he implemented all these things and after that what happened like he was asked he me in the middle he got some doubt like so mine is a double phone so it's a small phone only uh why should uh, we use or why should we need wi-fi something like he he start thinking like that then immediately uh, this interface came and he told so first thing if you want to inherit me you need to implement all the methods. So whether you require those methods or if you don't require those methods, I don't care about all these things. You need to implement all the methods. Okay. Uh, then this person uh, started implementing all the methods and finally, so this 7210 came and he told, see, uh, boss, I need Nokia interface and also new Nokia interface. So then he started implementing all the methods. Okay. Then what happened? he achieved the multiple inheritance concept okay so this is what uh, interface concept so there uh, there are basic basically there are some rules for implementing interface so first thing some points to remember uh, while we are working with uh, interface so because of interface because of interface we are able to achieve which concept? Tell me. Because of interface, we are able to achieve. Yes, guys. Mm, only one person respond. I don't know what he responded. Perfect. Multiple inheritance. Uh, and next point. So if you want to inherit some interface, then what should you need, you need to do? You need to implement all the all the methods interface. Okay. So so if you follow these things, then you can achieve what? Multiple inheritance. Okay. So uh, just, uh, we'll see. Okay, just uh, note down this theory, I will give the problem.
So I'm moving. I'm moving to program. <coughs> so people see here. I declare two namespaces. Okay. After that, this is my interface one. I'm inheriting here. This is my class one. Okay. So here in my interface one, we have two methods. So I will try to remove one method. No, see, it is throwing error. Okay. So if I keep this method output, then it is not throwing any error. So here in this case, this is one more class and we are inheriting two interfaces. Okay. So if we remove any method here, then again, it will throw the error. See this one. Now I will undo this one. And now I will delete the second method now, say uh, second interface method. So see, here we got the error. Okay, so the rule for interface is if we want to inherit that interface, we need to implement all the in methods, whatever the there in that interface. So, so here in this case, I mean, uh, I just kept what I done, uh, one class and interface, okay? So one class and uh, interface. Okay, so see, so here for just uh, understanding purpose, I have given so we can add and in, include any any code or uh, that is fine but for now uh, i'm just keeping why because so I, I try to cover all the scenarios so one interface two in uh two by using two interface and uh, one class and one interface i tried so these are all the possible ways and uh, by using this uh, uh interface we can achieve what multiple inert and concepts so simply i have given i have created uh, uh i have created what I have created object to our last derived class and I am be able to print all the methods. Just uh, start that one and we'll see. So see here. Okay, so all our basic classes, yes, all our basic only. All our, sorry, all our base classes only. So see, uh, this, hey, this cursor is not working. So this class is a base class only. And this five three five double zero is a base class. Seven two one zero is a base class. But what is happening? So they are all deriving from where? And so they are all inheriting the interface. 
So what is multiple inheritance? More than one base class and one derived class. So here, so here, this is the derived class, and this is one class, and this is one class. Okay, this is what interface. So this is how we will achieve multiple inheritance. Any questions? Okay, so please note down. Scroll up or down. So actually it is inheriting uh, one class, right? That class is having the definition of that particular uh, methods, right? So that's why it is not throwing the error. Maruti. Got it, Maruti? So scroll down. So can I scroll down? So uh, are you guys clear with this interface concept or anyone have questions? Can I explain again?
see interface whoever inherit that interface they need to implement that interface sorry how to access four classes can you take one interface how to access four classes i did not got your question gopi
Sorry, guys, done with the program. Can we move to next? Okay, so we'll see. Okay. So difference between interface and abstract class. So this is one of the most important, okay? <clears throat> so, Abstract class. A class which consists of abstract functions and non-abstract functions are called as what? Abstract class. But interface consists of what? Only abstract methods. Okay. A class may contain non-abstract functions. So, yes, agree for that. But interface consists of what? Only abstract functions. It doesn't contain any non-abstract functions. So, abstract class is like a class only. But... So uh, we can have variables, methods, abstract functions, non-abstract functions, properties, uh, constants, everything we can have. But interface, it consists of only abstract functions. Okay, so, okay, so that is what. So here we have, uh, we have to use uh, abstract keyword. For interface, what keyword we need to use? Obviously interface only. Abstract class cannot be used to implement multiple inheritance. Uh, is that true or not? Yes or no? Okay. And uh, finally, uh, by default, uh, all the abstract members are not public and uh, abstract, but by default, all the interface members are what? Public and uh, abstract only. Okay. So uh, please note down the differences. So this is, see, all these points we already discussed. So that's what I feel. Just note down, this is one of the most important concept. So now our she, you know, so we are almost completed some 60, 70 percent of C sharp. Within next 10, 15 classes, mostly we will finish our C sharp.
Yeah, only MVC. Only yeah, MVC only. So UI related and other other people will teach, right? So I will teach a C sharp and MVC. MVC in the sense ASP.NET, ASP.NET MVC, Web API, uh, .NET Core, MVC Core. All will be covered in one session. Got it, Rajit. Case completed. So no one is responding also. People are sleeping what now? We can move. What happened, guys? Vasim, Suresh. Niladri Pramod Saujanya Sneha Sham Prasad. We can move what happened, so people are not responding. People are sleep, people are getting good sleep. Hmm? Okay, so please complete. I will wait for two more minutes. So this is important. So that's why I'm uh, for important topics. If that takes time also, that it is a bigger topic also, no problem. We need to write the notes. When you are going for interviews or something, that will definitely help you guys. That's why I am giving. Okay, we'll move to our next topic. So we are done with properties, right?
guys can someone confirm me we are we are done with properties yes okay Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll actually, anyway, the sealed class won't complete in 15 minutes, so we'll go for a partial class. Okay, so so by monday we'll complete our roots okay so we'll do one thing now okay so just listen Okay, so now what we will do here is we will declare one class. Class make public class class name A B C. Okay, that's it. Now, now I want one more class. Class. will make it public class so i will declare same abc name so see what it is can someone guess what is the error already contains the definition of abc right So, <clears throat> for example, if we want to keep the same class name for one more time, then we have a concept called partial class. So, just keep partial keyword, P-R-T-I-A-L, okay, okay, now keep the same keyword here also, now see the magic. So error is gone. Okay. The, the concept of partial class came here because, so for example, if I have some 10 logics, but what I want to do here is, so I want to divide each piece, each uh, 10 logic into small, small pieces and I want to develop them separately. Okay, so then what I will do, I will go for this partial class and I will implement them by using this partial class. Then what will happen? So we can have, we can keep same name for more than one class. But what will happen about the execution? So at the time of execution, at the time of uh, execution so it will combine all piece of codes into so it will combine all piece of codes into one part okay and then what will happen like you know so all the code will be combined and it will execute the program so when i created object here people see here here so when we created object here we can call any methods here from this class or this class or whatever it may be see 
the uh, simple purpose we will divide the logic into parts that's it okay so this is what partial class so if you keep partial keyword then we can keep duplicate name to our class okay uh, just take this one and take after that i will give you the example see uh, what will have we, we are giving same name to class at the time of see uh, at the time of uh, cre uh, creation of object all code will be combined and it will be one part only so we will write one method only so you cannot write duplicate methods or something right Done. Can I move to that program? So, in our next class, we'll discuss about that sealed class. With that, we'll complete our OOPS concepts. But we have this diagram, if you people see here. This diagram is nothing but the complete picture of OOPS. Okay. So try to join everyone without fail. Why? Because, you know, so all the OOPS concepts covered within this class. See instance variable, static variable, constants, instance constructor, static constant, instance method, static method, abstract method, properties. Mm, static properties, inheritance, multiple intent, access modifiers, object concept, and here class, sealed class, partial class, abstract class, interface. All the concepts will be covered here actually. Okay. So this is the one of. Yes, Divya Ranjan. So we will use. So uh, wait for uh, 20 days, then you will know. So the first line of our ASP.NET or MVC is partial class. So this one. Okay, note down this example.
so done i just gave the example i, I mean just you can write any logic here any methods here you can try with all the swaragams whatever we try till to Guys, done. Please respond. So this is our race speed data application. See, the first line of race speed data application is parser class. Okay. Okay, anyway, when once we reach the TSP.NET there, we will explain. Okay, so fine. Uh, uh, th fine, then thanks all for joining. We'll meet again uh, Monday. So happy weekend. So just practice all the problems and connect with me if anyone have any issues or any concerns or, you know, if someone is facing some issues with some programs or something, please connect with me. I'm always there to help you guys. Okay. Fine. Thanks for joining. We'll meet Monday.